Welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. In this one, we're going to go and check out the charity shops down in the village and see what they've got going in regards to some Lego because my inventory seems to be running low. Me and Harry were well bored in the house, so I decided we're going to go for a walk, see what we can find, and I'll come back and let you know when we get there. Right, so to give you a quick rundown as we get down to the village, there's probably about eight to ten different charity shops. Our village seems to be all charity shops or takeaways at the moment. And whether it's going to be real Lego or fake Lego, we're about to find out. But let's go and have a look. Have a look in every shop, see what we can find, see what the prices are, and go from there. So we've decided while we're on the way, we're going to stop and look at some cars, aren't we? Wee wave! Say hi! <laughs> oh, he looks so happy to be looking at the cars. So the village is a pretty big strip. We're going to start off at Acorns. So that was a good start. Acorns has got a load of bags in, £5 each. The only problem is a lot of them have got Technic parts in, like uh, the Technic robots. I'm not really interested in that kind of stuff. That'll just end up getting put into my unused pile. And £5 for what would probably be half of a bag that I'd keep. Not really worth it, so keep on looking. So as it stands at the moment, obviously I've been to Acorns. We've got Headway over there. We've got Farm Sanctuary over there. We've got Primrose Hospice up there, PDSA up there, and they're all on the other side. So we're going to carry on up, see what's left on this side, cross over and then come back down. Okay, so not as many as I thought. There's Age UK up this side, so there's only two on the left. What, about three or four coming back down the right? So, we're going to go to Age UK now, see what's in here. Okay, so in Age UK, there was one bag for £1.50, which you saw a quick clip of. And then the picture was just a few other bags, which were like 20p each. But unfortunately, they're all unbranded Lego, so no good to us. And now we're going to walk down the other side, say hi! <laughs> we're going to walk back down the other side and see what shops we can hit on this side now, aren't we Harry? You seeing anything you like? Down there? Okay, let's go and have a look. Uh, one thing I never thought to record, but this morning while little dude was having his nap, was I had a Sainsbury's carrier bag full of Lego, which I was given. Managed to sort it out, get all the dirt, the hairs and everything else out of it. But then I've got like a little stack of drawers, filled the two drawers with them. One of which was all non-Lego, the other was official Lego. So I've dumped all the official into my drawer to be sorted. And I've still got the unofficial in the drawer. So I'll take a picture of that and show you when I get home. So you know what I'm on about. But he's enjoying his little stroll, ain't you Harry? Harry Bo, are you enjoying your stroll? Yeah, say hi, wave, go yay! Right, now we're back down the other side. We've got two near next to each other. Let's check these out. Right, so from the PDSA store, we got one, didn't we, Harry? Do you want to show them? It's not official Lego, but for £1.50, they got some quality stickers that, uh, or part, printed parts that we could actually use. Let's see if I get it home, look. Starting him off young. Harry, what you got? What you got, Harry? Say hi. That's it, show them. Wow! Right, so Primrose Hospice didn't have any Lego in that one, but Harry, show them what you got. Show them what you got, look. Harry got a little dumper truck. Say yeah! So the last couple to try, we're going to go to the farm and animal sanctuary. Right, none in the animal sanctuary, so let's try Headway. Right, so the last two charity shops had no Lego at all in them. Or was it the last three Lego shop, uh, three charity shops had no Lego in them? So now that's all the charity shops done, I'm going to go back over to Acorns before we go, and we'll see what they've got 
if there's anything worth spending a fiver on probably not but we'll double check doing everything we can to try and get this little dude walking but as soon as you let go of his hand he'll drop to the floor he can walk he's just bloody lazy harry say hi say hi <laughs> he's that funny say hi come on then come on then ah, he's coming he's coming ah! this is certainly one way to get him walking thought we'd take a break and go to the park for a bit harry say jeez what are you doing guys shaky shaky shake that's it harry Ooh, go shaky, shaky, shake. What are you doing, big boy? Yeah, you prefer that to the swings, don't you? Is that better than the swings? Little dude is now finished in the park. So we've done uh, six that I've counted of the charity shops. I thought there was more than that. So we're going to go and have a look in acorns at them five pound bags again and then head home. So I went back into Acorns, they've got probably about 15, pound, uh, 15 of those five pound bags. They're all like bionicle kind of stuff mixed with the odd little part of official Lego, mostly non-Lego. I don't need that, I ain't paying five pound for it anyway. So looks like we've just got that one box for one pound fifty and that's just because I like the uh, stickered and printed parts on it. Other than that, back home we go. Right, so eventually we made it home. We only got the one set, which was this construction set, which Harry seems to love. The one thing I never thought to do, which you should always do, but I'm lucky this time, if we open it off, it's still sealed in the bags. So as I said, you know, I don't go out of my way to get this kind of Lego. I know I might seem like a bit of a hypocrite when I'll sit there and I'll buy like alternate brands off AliExpress and stuff, but I won't have a collection of random brick, whether you want to call it Flego, fake Lego, alternate brand, knockoff, whatever you want to call it. But he's so excited, he's already unpacking it all. But yeah, I mean, the only reason I bought this set it was £1.50, you get a load of either printed or stickered uh, pieces in it, so we'll have a look, we might be able to reuse them, the rest of it probably just get thrown into a pot. He's just emptying it to throw it onto the floor, watch. What are you doing with it? What are you doing? Where's it all gone? Yeah, go on then, you're just going to throw it down there. Whee. So after having a quick look, a couple of the stickers have come off, but it is a sticker pack. So all this can just stay in the bags. We've got the manual and the stickers. So I think the stickers is what I'm going to keep because I might be able to reuse them on some actual Lego parts. So yeah. I'm going to cut the video there, so thank you very much for watching. We might try this again, depending on how well the video performs, and try and find somewhere else with more charity shops. Fingers crossed. See you in the next video. Harry, say bye. Say bye. Bye.